Hey everybody, it's Lo. So on the last Isa piece I did, I got quite a few requests to make a tutorial for his digital camo sleeves. On references that I have found, it is a digital camo or like a sharp edged camo um, made of light gray, dark gray, and medium gray, or black, white, and gray. The references aren't necessarily very clear. But that's my approximation of what I think his camo looks like. And this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on how to get that done. What you will need is Photoshop. It doesn't really matter what version because these are all very simple steps in order to achieve that effect. And of course, a tablet or mouse, whatever, whatever you want to do. So the first step is to draw this dude or whoever you want to slap some digital camo on. So I have him already drawn, but what I'm going to do next is create a new canvas. So a new one, and then I like to work pretty big for this one just because it gives me the effect that I want on the camo. So I'm gonna be working at a canvas size of 5,400 pixels by 3,600 pixels at 300 DPI. If your computer cannot handle that, that is okay. You can work at a lower or a smaller canvas size, but this is what I prefer to do for the sake of the result that I want. So hit okay, brand new canvas. And I'm actually going to switch the orientation to vertical. Should have done that at the beginning, but whatever. And then make sure that your color tray over here, the foreground is black, the background is white. It'll just be easier to pick stuff out later when we are making the camo pattern. So I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to go to filter, render, and clouds. And you'll have that. The next thing we want to do is increase the contrast between the white and the dark so that that way we have two colors, black and white. The way I like to do that is you can either go to image adjustments levels or just hit control L and you'll get this little pop-up and bring these two sliders on either side towards the center that way your black and whites are isolated and ready for the next step so hit OK the next step is going to be filter pixelate mosaic and I like to do around 25 to 30 cell size it honestly just depends on how I feel that day there's really no rhyme or reason for, to, for adjusting that, except for do what you want. Hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Control L or go to Image Adjustments Levels one more time and repeat that step. So that that way all you have are these nice hard edges, just like that. Hit OK. So next what you want to do is get all of the black in your clipboard to transfer to the next, to the, to your actual image. So the way I do that is I go to select color range, select the black, and you'll get all the marching ants around the black section. And then you can either go to edit and hit copy or just hit control C on your keyboard and then go back to your original image and hit control V to paste or edit and paste, whatever works best for you. So as you can see, he's covered in stuff. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, hit control T to transform. And because the camel pattern is smushed more vertically, that's why I changed it to a vertical canvas. I like to just do that so that, that way it's a little bit more squished um, portrait wise. So you're just going to transform that until you like what you see. You can move it around. Let me zoom back in. So it's like that. Now, what you want to do next is erase the excess from the outside. And the easiest way to do that is you go to your color layer. As long as you color in flats, hit your magic wand tool select the parts that you want to have color in them and then you will hit select inverse and that way all of the surrounding area is selected go back to your camo layer and hit delete on your keyboard 
and you're left with that. So that's the first step. The second step, you hit Control D to deselect. The next step is to repeat the exact same process on that same layer. So I'm going to Control D to deselect and then delete that layer. And I'm going to start over. So filter, render, clouds. Control L for levels, bring those to the center. Filter, pixelate, mosaic, perfect, and then hit Control L one more time. The cool thing about rendering clouds is that each time the selection is randomized, so you'll never have the exact same camouflage pattern. So do that, and then select color range one more time, select the blacks, Control C for copy, go back to your original piece, Control V to paste, and then rinse and repeat. Just adjust that. You can leave it longer, you can leave it wider, as long as it doesn't cover up the original one too much. I like to just move it around a little bit and see what I like best. Let's see. I don't want to leave too much of the background gray either. That looks pretty okay. All right. So I'm going to hit enter to confirm that transformation and repeat the using the magic wand tool to select the base gray, select inverse, and then go back to the new camo layer and hit delete on your keyboard. So now what we want to do is change that black camo to white or light gray. And it's very simple. You just go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and then bring up the lightness. Just like that. And that is a quick and easy way to do Isa's digital camo pattern.